Okay guys, um, we're starting to put together the uh, Cyclops visor from uh, X-Men. I'm trying to duplicate what you see here in the uh, the photo. So I've just started by um, just sticking a ball on top of a torch, just making out a uh, rough idea with cardboard of the size and shape. And as you can see at the back, I've used a pair of... Uh, safety glasses as a template for size just a bit of wire mesh down to the front of the cardboard just to um, take the uh, modeling putty that I'm probably going to use this is experimental at the start but uh, we're gonna we're gonna give it a go this is going to be um, one of the ear pieces that's gonna be mounted there and hopefully fiberglassed after so look that's the start of it we'll see how it goes Okay, just a little bit of an advance. There's the earpiece without any um, putty around it. If you go to this side, then you can see the shape starting to form. And just earpiece plastic cup is nearly uh, nearly gone, and we're just starting to build up the side of the headpiece. So it's coming along nicely. Okay, so what we've done here is added some more putty along with some electrical conduit just to bring up the profile of the front of the glasses so I will be able to install my LEDs and switches and so on and so forth onto it. I'll just give you an idea from the top there as to how proud it brings it from the putty so We'll see how it goes. Just an update on where we're at at the minute. Sorry about uh, the quality of the video. So what I've done was the um, mould that I produced earlier. I basically covered it in fibreglass and then as you can see there's a split down the centre. So I'll just show you now what I've done. I've cut it and I've pulled the fiberglass out making my shell for the cyclops visor that's one side and then just to give you an idea this was the other side so that just pops off and this was again originally what we had so when you put both of these back together just see if I can get it one thing Come back to the Cyclops visor again. Sorry about this. Okay, guys. Um, our fiberglassing and filler is complete so you can see now where the uh, LED is going to be incorporated into the back so it was just a very simple circuit LED from chrome glow and small switch and a 12 volt battery so I'll just turn this on and give you an idea of what it's going to look like Okay, this is the next part of the build, just to give you an idea of the outside of it now. I have the red Perspex lens in, but I haven't taken off to protect the film yet, just to uh, give it a chance when I'm spraying it. So I'll just give you a look at what I've done inside. We have our LED mounted, and along the side then I have a 12 volt battery and our switch so on the outside all you see is a very fine switch just sticking out so I'll rotate it again and maybe give you a look at it when it's on <coughs> so if you look at it there I'll just flick the switch press the light on and it still gives you room when you put it on your head 
that you can actually look under the light. So this space here is actually where my eyes are. And that's the LED. So when I have this protective film off, they should really illuminate pretty well. Let's turn it off again. Yep. Okay, guys, this is the final product of the uh, X-Men Cyclops visor. As you can see there, I just put on just a few battle scars and now you can see obviously the yellow and the uh, red perspex lens. I'll try to turn it on without knocking it over. Okay, so that's what you're looking at when you're finished. And as I showed earlier, that's just a look to the inside. I also added some foam just to allow it to sit properly on my head. So, 